Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another Make Shop Pro video. Today I just wanted to demonstrate a script that I created that I will make available to folks who become patrons on my Patreon page. I recently posted on my YouTube channel just a quad image of some work that were or some videos that we're going to be covering in October. Um, and to make that process of creating an image like that simpler, I create a script that will tile uh, masks so that you can very easily add images in an arrangement like that. So let's take a quick look at how this works. So to start off, I'm just going to create a new image and uh, the shape of the image is going to matter here because this script is going to just evenly divide your image up uh, based on how many cells you want, how many rows and how many columns. So in terms of how those are going to look, it's all going to be based on what the original shape is going to be. So in my case, because I wanted the final image to be square, I'm going to use a square set of dimensions. And then very simply, what I can do is run this script and what it's going to ask me is how many rows and how many columns do I want? So, for example, in this case, I wanted two rows and two columns, so I have a nice uh, grid, two by two grid. And what you can see as it walks through, it's essentially creating cells that are masks for each one of those corners. So then at this point, if I want to build this image up as a grid of four different images, I can very simply just drag an image externally underneath the mask, always under the mask, but above the copy of the background. And then you can see it's already restricted like a mask would do to the region where I want it to show up. And then you can very easily arrange whatever your reference image is going to be without affecting any of the rest of the image. So then just continuing on, adding the rest of the images, following the same procedure. And you can see it just makes the process of arranging a bunch of images to meet a certain set of dimensions very quick and very easy. Now repeating this process just once again, but maybe a little bit faster. Uh, essentially, you know, it doesn't have to be a square image. Obviously, you could have a more rectangular uh, image. And then in which case, if you keep the rows set to one and then you set your columns to a greater number, now what you'll have is just a situation where your images can be stacked um, you know, left to right, horizontally, essentially. And the same thing could be done vertically if you just kept the number of columns to one and the number of rows a larger number. In the case where if you want the resulting image to allow more of the original dimensions to come through, say like in my example, uh, most of these images are, you know, have a, have a taller portrait orientation. Um, if you even if you're still doing a two by two, but you have a taller resulting image, then you'll preserve more of the original image uh, composition. So uh, again, it's just the combination of the base document, the new documents, dimensions, and how you want to break up that into the grid pieces. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you feel like this capability would be helpful for you, uh, check out my Patreon page. You can join for as low as a dollar a month, and you'll get this script as well as any other scripts I've created and any scripts I create in the future, as well as some other benefits that I try to throw on there as we go. But that's it for this one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you'd like to get updates of new content, click the subscribe button. And as I mentioned, the link to my Patreon page is on the screen, and I'll see you guys next time.